Today, you're getting an inside look at some incredible homes for sale in America's finest city. So let's find your perfect home. I'm Claire McKee. Welcome to On The Block. Please help me welcome my first guest, Sean Zangane with Keller Williams Carmel Valley. Sean, come on over. What's Hi, going how are on? You? Good to see you. It's so good to see you. Thank too. you so much for having me Thanks today. Thanks for being here. Get comfy for me. All right. Woo. I know. Don't, it's like a little. <laughs> so, John, where are we heading with your listing today? We are going to Rancho Carrillo in Carlsbad, a little bit further north from where we are at One Paseo here. Mm -hmm. So, uh, we're going to journey up there. It's a great neighborhood. Really excited to talk about it. Okay, so let's talk Carlsbad. What's good in the neighborhood? What draws people to this community? Good question. So, uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> So Rancho Carrillo is an awesome neighborhood right in the heart of Carlsbad. You're close to Algo Norte Park, you're close to uh, Rancho Carrillo itself is a master plan community, top rated schools, really great family centric neighborhood. You have trails, parks, everything you'd want in a community mm -hmm. to feel like you could raise a family there and, and also have the entertainment. Yeah. A lot of people are looking for a great family neighborhood where you can also go out on a date on a Friday night. Yeah. So you're really close to Carlsbad, La Costa, a lot of great restaurants, bars, activities that are right mm -hmm. around there that people just love today and really want more of. Yeah, Carlsbad is fantastic. There's no shortage of things to do there, no doubt. Let's move to the inside of the house, kind of paint the picture for us. What can we expect? So this particular house, uh, it's one of the haciendas, they call it, Rancho Carrillo, and it's one of the last phases of the uh, community. Um, it's wonderful, really sought after because it does have a full bedroom bath down. Uh, the entire house has ensuite baths, so it adds a lot more private feel. I love that. You're not sharing bathrooms. Um, and then it's got this amazing bonus loft area. And what's cool about this house especially this block you're on a single loaded street so you only got houses on one side um, the house itself has got well, because it's rare along that canyon this house has never come for sale in this neighborhood this is the first time okay. sweet owners original owners who own the home and they're just wonderful people allowed us to add our touches by adding staging and you know refreshing some of the mm -hmm. paint just giving it that modern fresh feel that yeah. people are looking for today yeah absolutely but it's always nice to know you have a little peace of mind when there's only been one owner because yeah. it's like you know it's been taken care of and shown so much love in that time you know when we sat down with the owners you know they were just so expressive of about the, the reason they bought the house and it, I always find like a story like that mm -hmm. kind of gives a lot more character to the property and I sat down and he took us outside and he pointed out to the view and he's like I want you to see that see that mountain over there yeah that's Big Bear over there in the distance and you can see just a Get small out. sliver on a clear day of Big Bear Mountain and even from the upstairs I mean you can peekaboo off to the side and see the coast of Carlsbad so you have such an awesome expansive view right here in this awesome community Wow sounds like a perfect place to be how many bedrooms bathrooms Good question. Yeah. So we have four bedrooms and we have four and a half bath. Okay. Um, it does have, what's rare also is a three car garage. It's very hard to find a three, four car garage yeah. in Carlsbad. This, this home in this neighborhood is one of the few that do have that, which is really neat. That's amazing. What's yeah. the price point on this one? So we have it listed from 1189 to 1209. Mm -hmm. um, we just had it open this weekend. It was a wild party there because everyone's out trying to, you know, look for homes yep. and get back into the market. Yep. So we, we assume this home will get a lot of activity this week. We're super excited to share it with the community, to share it with Rancho Carrillo mm -hmm. and Carlsbad and here at Modern Media Network. Yes, well, we are so grateful that you brought this to us today. Thanks so much for sharing. And it sounds like we're starting 2020 with a bang. We are excited. Thank you so much for having us. It was great to us. see you, Sean. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. My next guest is AC, Mr. Alexander Chulo with the Pete Knows Real Estate team. AC, come on over. Claire, you coming in doing? hot? How are we doing? I'm doing Good so to great. see you. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. What's going down? What's happening? The purple ombre vibes you've got going with this tie right now. The ombre vibes? Yeah. Is that something you learned out of Joshua Tree? <laughs> What's going on? I didn't learn that in Joshua Tree, but did you see the rainbow that I was standing in front of? I did of? see the rainbow that you're standing in front of. It was an incredible rainbow. I've always been chasing rainbows. And that's why we like you so much. I know. That's what we got it's today. It's just sunshine and butterflies when you arrive. You know what? A smile is so much easier than a frown. It's less muscles. At least that's what I've been told. Um, yeah, except I try not to smile too much because that's how you get the wrinkles, AC. Well, that's true. That's what they say. <laughs> that's what they say. Well, where are we going with your listing today? I think we're going to pop right down. Special place. Right down from our office okay. on Prospect. 
going a little bit further down from the village to wind and sea. Oh, beautiful. Wind and sea. Love wind and sea. Okay, so if we don't know what wind and sea is, tell us what's good in that neighborhood. Wind and sea, it's an incredible community. This guy, 7116 Vista Del Mar, it's right down on the sand. Incredible property, incredible opportunity. All right, house is Mediterranean modern. Okay. You walk inside from the cul-de-sac approach, it seems small frontage. Going in there, it opens up. You have a beautiful rotunda that takes you up. There's three different levels in it. Okay. You have four bedrooms dedicated, four and a half bath. You have an office. You also have a movie theater. You have an incredible wine cellar that boasts it can hold 500 bottles of wine. Wow, okay. And the views are impeccable. What are we looking at? What you're looking at? The mighty Pacific. The mighty Pacific. In all her glory. Yes. Right over Little Point. What's what's really interesting about this property is it opens up. You got ingress, egress right to the sand. So it's not being back, it's not mm -hmm. being bluff side. Mm -hmm. You're right on the sand. Your access point goes out. Coming in right from the side, you would come back into the backyard. Okay. You've got a wonderful jacuzzi that's set to go. And we even have a backyard. I mean, sometimes when you're right on the sand, you don't even get that. Well, that's true. We have an almost 6,000 square foot lot. Wow, okay. Which is great. Yeah, it's hard to find. Especially right there yeah. in that positioning down over Little Point. Um, master bedroom overflows. You've got 10 foot ceilings in places. Okay that are expansive going up. You have a chef's gourmet kitchen, upgraded appliances, and the views from down below where your master's at, mm -hmm. incredible. You pop up to where your great room would be, the living room, mm -hmm. formal dining. It's panoramic going out. Mm -hmm. And then head outside up to your rotunda, all the way up to the rooftop. You're looking north, south, east, west. You have views of La Jolla like nothing else. So we've got views from essentially every room in the home. Views. views. Views upon views upon views upon views. Views on views on views. Views on views. We stack them. What else should we know about this home, AC? What else you should know about this home? It's an incredible opportunity that is on the sand and mm -hmm. being in that right now. Price point is 6495 mm -hmm. to 6795 And these homes just don't come available any old day. I mean, uh, this is a rare opportunity. Other homes that we're seeing down in there within where they're Price is at and price per square feet mm -hmm. brings this home, 7116 in. It's an unbelievable opportunity. I love it. Let's talk a little bit about the Wind and Sea neighborhood though. If we're gonna leave the property, what are we gonna do? Because there's so much to do. Well, there's the beach, of course, right mm -hmm. there, Sand Beach. You have the mighty Pacific as well. And then popping up with within Wind and Sea, you're right below where the shack is. One of my favorite hangs. Yep. Best place to shoot pool, great chicken strips. Noted. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And the cocktails are nice. There you go. You can walk to a restaurant, a little bar, play some pool. I love that. There it is. You're right in close proximity within the village. Everything that the mm, village has to offer, right. all of shops, auto dealerships, um, restaurants that are all throughout there. Mm -hmm. And then heading back down th further past the beach barber track, you get down into Bird Rock area as right. well, which is gentrified so much. All the turnarounds that are coming through that yep. neighborhood, which has changed. Back in the day, I used to drive through when I lived in Pacific Beach. Mm -hmm. I used to valet at George's. Yes. All right. This uh -huh. is a long time ago. There was nothing there. It was a straight shot. Yeah. It was almost a dirt road, I would say. There was a hotel, a couple of things. Now, that whole entire area, you got wheat and water, yep. you got Beaumont's, you got Beaumont's. so many other places that pull out. Yep. Great music, nightlife, restaurants, yep. shops. That whole entire area that surrounds has just turned into mm. a thing where people yep. want to be. Well, and I gotta tell you, in my opinion, Wind is probably the best place you could be in La Jolla because you are in such an amazing little pocket with the village a little north, and then you've got Bird Rock to the south. Exactly. It's all there. Well, Talk a little louder. Right now, we'd like to take a quick commercial <laughs> break, and we would actually like to let you know that we're here at One for Sale. Here at One for Sale, they're finishing off the streets. They're brand new. They're absolutely gorgeous. And we right here are on one of the most expensive commercial lots and plots, this corner right here at Del Mar Highlands in all of San Diego. In all of San Diego, and here you got one for sale. Within that, we got urban pizza. And tractors driving and down the road. And tractors driving down the road. <laughs> we got people taking uh, Gant, people are waving, people are smiling, everybody's happy. There's no frowns at one for sale. Not one frown to see. Not on Claire 
and not on me. Now I'm turning into Dr. Seuss. We got Dr. Seuss in the building and we're gonna Dr. Seuss our way right to this beautiful home in Wind and Sea. AC, thanks for bringing this to us today. Blair, absolute pleasure. So good to see you. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. It's great to see you awesome. too. Awesome. Cheers, guys. Thanks. Cheers. My next guest is Danny Power with Coldwell Banker Del Mar. Danny, come on over. Hello, my friend. Hi, Claire. How, How are, are you? you? Good, Good to see you. you. Likewise. Likewise, likewise. Claire, Cody, and Carrie. I know. All right. We don't we don't make it easy on you. We love modern media. <laughs> Thank you so much. We love you, Danny. Thanks for Thanks. being here. Let's talk. Where are we heading with your listing today? Well, it's just about a mile north of here as the crow flies are okay. two one acre lots situated over the polo fields yes. uh, via de la valle and these are two of the last remaining lots in del mar they're right on the border of del mar and rancho santa fe mm -hmm. although two great municipalities don't get me wrong mm -hmm. but these lots lay in the county of san diego okay so they're a lot more builder friendly in the county okay understand del mar or rancho santa fe has a lot more restrictions so as far as building new construction that's a huge benefit to huge. a developer yeah okay a ben yeah to a developer or end user because uh you can pretty much you know you're a lot, a lot more freer to do what you want mm -hmm. and uh this allows for a since lots are about forty-four thousand square feet this allows for 20 percent of the lot total lot size to be built on Okay. You can build about eight or nine thousand square foot house on each one of these wow. lots. Included in that square footage, you can do an accessory dwelling unit okay. up to about twelve hundred square feet with a full kitchen. So we're talking and income opportunity yeah, in that those regard. Income opportunity or in-law place, mm -hmm. you know, separate from the main uh, residence would sure. be the accessory dwelling unit. So you could have a, a detached guest house, which yeah. are really great to have in that area. Yeah, we're seeing a lot of that lately too. Yeah, and you're right by San Diego Show Park and the Polo Field, Del Mar Racetrack, and they are zoned for horses. Oh, amazing. I got to tell you, when you said that you had lots available in Del Mar, I was almost like, are you joking? Yeah. Like, really? You have land in Del Mar that's land undeveloped? Land in Del Mar with peak ocean views. <laughs> so you have a big, you probably have about 300 linear feet of south, southwest, frontage so you get light all day winter Beautiful. time sun summer mm -hmm. all, all sun all day mm -hmm. on these lots and uh, we do have renderings for some nice residences okay and uh, it's a private drive for both of them and uh, gated okay. so uh, it's, a lot of the infrastructure is already in are they being sold together or separately we're selling them uh, separately at 1.5 million a, a piece okay but we would package them up as a you know a deal if somebody were, were to buy both of them like an investor or developer mm -hmm. we okay could do, we could do some work something out yeah okay. just give me a call danny power coldwell banker 760-519-9293 big shout out to moose mal Moose Mal Lindy yeah. and uh, Corner Escrow and of course Modern Media Network. We love you guys. Thanks so much. Guys, it takes it was, a village. We love how you guys let us promote our listings. Hey, thanks. It's been a pleasure. Bye. Good to see you, Danny. Thank you. You too. My next guest is Christine Labounty with Compass. Christine, come on over. Hi, you. Hi. Good so to see good you to again. See you. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. Did you have a good new year? I feel like it's I been did. a while since I've seen you. I know, it has been a little while. And you yeah. have a baby, congratulations. I do, yeah, a little six month old, so. That's so exciting. He keeps me on my toes. I'm sure After you're busy, clients. right? <laughs> yeah, yep, between him and the clients, absolutely. Yeah, so you have a couple of listings. Where are we starting today? Yeah, so we're actually starting um, with the first one right around the corner here in Delmar Highlands. Okay. Um, I have a really adorable two bed, two bath, 1100 square foot unit. Beautifully remodeled, um, lots of white and gray tones, um, really sleek, sexy mm -hmm. end unit, um, lots of patio space, and that's going to be um, listed here coming up shortly. Um, great community, resort style amenities, yeah. pool, spa, tennis courts, um, and HOAs of about 300. I love it. So we're right around the corner from One Paseo where we are currently. Yes. Lots to do in the Del Mar Highlands area. Um, talk a little bit also, what else about the neighborhood? What should we know? Yeah, well, Delmar Highlands area, obviously, as you know, um, we're filming here today, um, is a wonderful area and it speaks to a lot of different demographics. Mm -hmm. um, the unit itself is walking distance from One Paseo, um, which is fabulous. One Paseo obviously has some great new um, sleek, sexy restaurants, places mm -hmm. to eat. Um, 
fine dining, uh, retail venues. Yeah. Um, so there's just so much to do in addition to the um, original Delmar Highlands right around the corner. Right. So um, you get a lot of young professionals that come here um, buying and um, wining and dining in the neighborhood. You also have a lot of young families, obviously mm -hmm. great school systems, great school. Um, top of the line. So it really, the neighborhood really speaks to kind of people of all demographics, all ages. Yeah. Um, and then of course we're right around the corner from the beach and who doesn't love that here Can't in San Diego. I know, we're so spoiled here. We got a little bit of everything, right? I know, it's middle of January and look at the beautiful weather. I know, I love it. So let's talk about the inside of the home. Bedrooms, bathrooms, square footage, sort of paint that picture when we walk in. Yeah, so it's a two bed, two bath, mm -hmm. um, just under 1100 square feet you get an attached garage which is really nice, nice. with an additional parking spot nearby um, it is an end unit so it's very quiet mm -hmm. um, you have nobody above or below it's a standalone unit which is nice. wonderful um, and you have gorgeous travertine floors um, beautiful white kitchen cabinets um, it's just a really nice cozy little unit it's gonna be listed around 600,000 um, so it's great for you know somebody that you're looking for a place by the beach, mm -hmm. um, close to one paseo, wants walkability, yeah. um, a young couple starting their family, um, somebody on the other end of the spectrum who's looking to retire and downsize. True. I mean, it really fits the bill for just about anybody looking um, in this great location at an affordable price. Yeah, I mean, really selling that lifestyle and what a great way to get into the San Diego market under 600,000. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, absolutely. And the great thing about being here in Del Mar Carmel Valley is that you're so central to the rest of San Diego. Mm -hmm. You can easily jump on the 56, the five, um, go north, south, or east. And um, again, you're a hop, skip, and a jump from the beach. So who doesn't love that? Yeah, absolutely. Well, Christine, thanks so much for taking the time to share this listing with us. Absolutely, thank you. It was good to see you. Great seeing you too. Thanks. My next guest is Radley Raven with the Gilton Group. Radley, come on over. Hey, friend. Hey, what's up? How are you? Good. How you doing? Good to see so you. So good to see good you. To see you. Happy New Year. Thank you. Thank you. You too. Thanks for coming out to One Paseo. Oh yeah, this place is amazing. Oh, uh, so good. And we're not too far from your hood, right? No, we're not. Well, where Actually. are we heading with your listing today? Today we're heading to Rancho Pacifica, which is not too far actually. Mm -hmm. That's a great community. For those who aren't familiar, what draws people to that neighborhood? Uh, one, the location, of course. You know, it's right down the street from here. So proximity to freeways, the beach, Juan Paseo, all the shopping, dining you could imagine. Mm -hmm. um, but more so the custom estates within it. There's 148 of them. They're all amazing. Um, it's truly one of the best neighborhoods in San Diego. And they're unique too, which I love that For as sure. well. They're not cookie cutter. They don't That's all look right. the same. They all have their own flair and vibe. Yeah, so let's talk, exactly. what's the vibe of this home? What do we need to know? This one is a single level, which is amazing. Mm -hmm. Almost 12,000 square feet, all on one level. Uh, two bedroom guest house. Uh, what is remarkable about this home is it is at the end of the neighborhood. There's mm -hmm. a single neighbor to the west. Okay. The neighbor to the east is across the canyon, um, so it's very private. It also has its own entry gate. Okay. Um, Rancho Pacifica is 24/7 guard gated, mm -hmm. um, but this particular property has its own entry gate as well, so added privacy and security, of course. That's very nice. And like yeah. you said, you're not super close to your neighbors, and That's you have right. beautiful views out that backyard. I already know, right? What are we looking at? Yeah. So you have the um, the Gulf Fairbanks Ranch Country Club mm -hmm. um, just you know over the, the edge of the hill yep. there. Um, and then the mountains and valleys to the east. Um, you get beautiful sunsets. Um, you can even see the ocean at times as okay. well. It's uh, beautiful. Yeah, I mean, this is really a luxurious neighborhood. There's a lot of high profile people that live here. For sure. um, what else should we know about this home or this community? Um, one, this home, itself is great for entertaining mm -hmm. too. Um, I believe you've made an appearance I was like, before. I think I've been <laughs> here before. Yeah, that's right. Um, so great for entertaining. You can host um, hundreds of people there. Yeah. Um, it's, you know, again, it's the single level makes a big mm -hmm. difference. Great for families. Um, there's five bedrooms in the main house and then you have the two bedroom guest house. Yeah. Um, it has a movie theater, separate billiards room, a huge pool, great backyard, very park-like. Mm -hmm. Sits on 1.39 acres um, at the top of the hill. It really feels like 10. It does. Um, it's it's wonderful. And that pool back there. I mean, yeah. you are selling the luxury lifestyle, <laughs> Radley. It's absolutely incredible. It is a home you have to see for yourself and really experience it. Uh, what's the price point on this? 
This one is at 7.88 million. Okay. Um, and we are, we're, we're coming soon. Yeah, it's coming soon. It's so coming you got to contact Radley to get in there, check yeah. it out. Thank you so much for taking the time to share this incredible hey, estate with my us. My pleasure. Thanks for, having, thanks for having me. Anytime. My next guest is Michael Chaconis with Coldwell Banker Del Mar. Michael, come on over. We clapping it up? We do, we do, we do, we do. Hi, you. <gasps> I'm always good. I got, I got my weekly hug from Claire. Yes. It's like you knew what to wear. You are like this vibe right now with the black and white behind you. You've got the tan to match the leather you're sitting on. I'm loving it. I blend in with the facade. <laughs> you know, it's, um, you it's motivation. It's motivation to go out there and get listings so I can be on next week's um, show. So it's a lot so of So call work. Michael, he needs some more listings. Help me, please. <laughs> My God, I don't want to miss next week's. <laughs> Where are we going with your listing this time? We are going to Poway. Okay. And that's how you pronounce it. If you're Australian, it's Poway. I'm I, not gonna lie, I'm from Ohio. I'm not Australian, but I totally thought when I read it, I'm like, it's Poway. Poway. Like, it's just, it's Poway. Poway and La Jolla, <laughs> they're kind of near each other. Yeah. So, hi, welcome to San Diego. <laughs> um, it's a single story, acre, lot, um, 5,600 square feet or more, a little bit more. It's um, six bedrooms, four and a half bath. Of that, two bedrooms and one bath is an ADU with a beautiful pool, Ooh. southwest exposure, sunsets galore. Okay. It's another exclusive auction property. Yep, you're so our auction So I, I want to be able to do that mm -hmm. and, you know, debut it here. Yeah. And uh, it'll go live probably a little bit after February. Okay. So it's coming soon. So with the auction process, they choose a date, right? And everybody shows up on that day and can check out the house. You find out everything you need to know about it, right? Close. It's three weeks in, so oh. it takes some time. There is a date when they expect the sale to happen. Okay. Anytime between that 30 day period, if they get an offer that's close to market, okay. they'll conduct business with that person. Does everybody come and see it though at one time? Very good. Right? After two sessions, you, you got, you're catching on. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting it a little bit. So there's no <laughs> lockbox on the property. There's only a limited time to see the property. Right. Uh, once during the week for an hour and then on the weekend for two hours depending on the property. Okay, okay. Yeah. So in that point you decide whether you want to make your bid and go in on it. Well, at that point you get to see what the property is like. I'll be there. I'll help you out with any questions mm -hmm. if you're by yourself and I've never done this auction process before. Yeah. Super easy. What do you think it's worth? How much can you afford? Let's write that up. You've seen the, um, the reports and disclosures so you know what's going on with the mm -hmm. property. Super simple. If you got a buyer out there looking for the Poway School District, mm -hmm. want to live by some old Padres or some old Chargers, because they that's where they all retire. Yeah, so, that's true. Um, oh, and it's walking distance to Bernardo Winery. Is it really? Have you been there? I have. I know exactly where you're talking okay. about. Okay, so I was thinking maybe for an upcoming show, Yeah. maybe we do that. That would be so cool. Right? What else about Poway for those who may not be super familiar? Um, the temperature is always a little bit better than uh, west of the 15. You have a little bit more sunshine. Mm -hmm. um, of course, the school districts. Yeah. It's, um, it's a lot of homes with acreage. There's a great golf course out there, mm. Poway High School. Pa, pa, Poway High School. <laughs> Poway. Poway High School. Um, tre tremendous um, group of teachers. Mm -hmm. I've been there a few times. Um, just a, you get a little more space out there too. You get a little bit more space, definitely. I mean, if this was, you know, five miles inland, you're paying maybe 50% more. So mm -hmm. starting bid price on this property, I don't think I gave you the address. Well, what's the address? Hit us. We'll have it all down below though anyway. Okay, it's down yeah. below. <laughs> 17851 Old Winery Winery Way. Yeah. I did a mouthful. <laughs> you bet? You should bet? And uh, starting bid price is like 1.9. Okay, awesome. Well, Michael, we love to see you. We'll, we'll expect you next week. And thanks so much for taking the time. The pressure's on. <laughs> I will see you soon. Cheers, sweetheart. Cheers. My next guest is Craig Sanger with Craig Sanger Real Estate. Craig, come on over. Hello, hello. Hi. How are you? Good. Good to see you. Thanks for having me on. It's been a while. Yes. So uh, tell me, we're talking neighborhoods today. Yes. And we're kind of talking your neighborhood. Where are we going? 
Palacio Del Mar. Okay, Palacio Del Mar. I'm not familiar with where that is or what that is, so what do we need to know? Palacio Del Mar is in Carmel Valley. Okay. It's right in the heart of Carmel Country. It's probably about two miles from one Paseo. Where we are right where now, are very right now. appropriate. Yes. Uh, it's a guard gated community with its own private golf course, tennis courts, pools, clubhouses, hiking trails, biking trails. What? It's, was this the best kept secret, Craig? It, it really is. Um, the amazing thing is the HOA is three thirty-five a month. Reasonable. But, and you join a country club. I mean, that's your dues. There's there's no green fees. There's no guest fees. Okay. There's no tee times. If you're a resident, you get to play all the golf you want, all the tennis. There's tennis pros or swim instructors. Oh my gosh. I mean, you don't get any of that. Like if you would just have a regular HOA or a regular gym membership, you'd be paying like way, 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 way more. Way, 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 more. way, way more than what you're, yes. oh my gosh. Like I'm just blown away right now. Yes. Um, okay, so it's amazing community. Are people gonna be upset with you? You're letting the cat out of the bag here, Craig. <laughs> this is true, this is true. Well, there's only a few homes for sale. Uh, there's 420 in the neighborhood. Okay. There's a few that I do have off market. Okay. Um, so it won't be a fire sale f for se, uh, yeah. letting the, the cat out of the bag, but yeah. it is, it is amazing. <laughs> and I'm a proud homeowner myself. Okay. I, I, I have some rental properties in there that I bring clients in before they get a chance to buy because they're waiting for the right opportunity. Smart. We have plans in there from 2000 square feet all the way up to 3,500 okay. single stories and two stories. Okay. Um, so there's a lot to offer. Do homes come on the market often in this neighborhood? There's about 15 or 20 a trade a year. Okay. So it's sometimes there'll be nothing for a couple months yeah. and then you'll have four or five trickle yeah. on. Well, and I know you mentioned it's off market. So what I hear from a consumer perspective is that they want to reach out to you directly because it sounds like you have the inside scoop on some of these homes that, you know, your average consumer and maybe real estate agent may never see on the MLS, for example. Definitely. A lot of agents reach out to me mm -hmm. and they say, Craig, what's coming on? Because they know that I'm in the know. Mm -hmm. I volunteer in the neighborhood. I run all the golf events. Okay. So I know many of the homeowners. So I, I do have connections that extend beyond just the MLS and what you see. Yeah. And the rental property too. That's value in itself as well. You've kind of got both sides going there. Absolutely. Okay. So this is your hood. I got you. Yes. Indeed. Tell me uh, what's like your number one thing you love about it. What's the best thing about this community? I love the fact that I can walk out my back gate with my nine-year-old daughter and we can just chip and putt and play. It's we can play cool. for 10, 15 minutes. We didn't have to pay $40 for a green fee yep. and drive 20 minutes to a golf course. Yep. Like, uh, their attention spans aren't great, so it's it's amazing for 10 minutes to go play. Yeah. Um, to me, as a golfer, then that's the dream. Yeah, yeah, so. among all the other amenities, yes. right? Yes. Well, Craig, thanks so much for taking the time to share with us about this amazing neighborhood. Of course. It was really good to see you. My pleasure. Take care. And my next guest is Christine LeBounty with Compass. Christine, come on over. Hi. Hi how are you? Welcome back. Thank, Thank you. you. Good to see you. Good to see you too. Where are we going with your listing this time? Um, today we're going just about 15 minutes east to Rancho Penasquitos. Okay. Yeah, I have um, a new listing coming up in Woodcrest Hills which is a really cute community that sits perched up on a hill right across from the big preserve over there. So you have gorgeous canyon views right out your front door. Yeah, let's talk what else is good in the neighborhood in, in Rancho Penasquitos. Well, Rancho Penasquitos is a really great um, suburban area of city of the city of San Diego. Mm -hmm. It sits in the northeast um, corner mm -hmm. and um, you have good schools. The nice thing about Rancho Penasquitos and this listing in particular um, that a lot of people that are also shopping like Carmel Valley mm -hmm. um, find is that in Rancho Penasquitos, you don't have the Mellow Roos. So um, it saves you a lot of money every month. You can get um, comparable uh, size for your dollar. Mm -hmm. um, and so we see a lot of people shopping between the two communities, but it's one of the really big appeals over to Rancho Penasquitos. Sure, sure. Great family area. Lots going on over there as well. Mm -hmm. um, as far as the home specifically, paint that picture for us. What's it like when people walk in? Yeah, so the home was built in 1993. It's the original owner. Okay. Um, and it's in good condition. We just put in brand new stainless steel appliances, new carpet. Um, it's kind of a blank canvas. So we're coming on the market at 829. Comps in that neighborhood range between 850 and 980. So it's okay. a great opportunity for someone looking to get into the neighborhood at a more affordable price yes. and really put their own stamp on the home. I love that. Uh -huh. I would prefer that all day personally, right? Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> it's a great lot, um, just under 10,000 square feet. So about a quarter of an acre. Mm -hmm. You have four beds, three baths. 
um, two stories and um, yeah, great little um, resort style community. You have a pool, a spa, tennis courts, green okay. belt. Um, so it's a great little neighborhood. Is there an HOA associated? There is an HOA, but it's only 150 a month. Oh, which that's great. For comparable, yeah, is super low for yeah. that area and the competing areas. So um, again, and no Melarus. So it's yeah. um, very, very affordable for somebody looking to buy a really nice single family home at a great price. Yeah, exactly. And like you said, it's not too far up the road at all for, to get a little bit more bang for your buck. Right, right. just along the 15 corridor, um, you can hop on the 15. It just sits just underneath the 56. Um, you're still very central in San Diego. So mm -hmm. you're a hop, skip and a jump north, south or west um, in any direction, which is really great. Yeah, absolutely. Is there anything else we should know about this home, Christine? Uh, no, just it's coming soon. Just coming soon. It's exciting. Um, come check us out and write an offer. All righty. Well, thanks so much for sharing with us, Christine. Thank you. It's great to see you. Great to see you too. Thanks. My next guest is Crystal Lane with SD Homes. Crystal, come on over. Hello. Hi, happy new year. Happy new year. Yeah, oh. can you believe it's 2020? No, I cannot believe it. It's crazy. No. Okay, Crystal, where are we heading with real today? We're headed to North Escondido in the Hidden Meadows area. Okay. This is like the country near the city. Perfect. I was just going to say, for people who aren't familiar, what do we need to know? What kind of draws people to this community? So what draws people to the community is privacy and space, which okay. this house has both of. Um, there's some homes on the golf course with smaller lots, but a lot of the lots are one to three acres. Mm -hmm. um, it's quiet. Uh, from my listing, you cannot see the neighbors. Wow, so we've got privacy. You have privacy, you have space, it's quiet, you have amazing views, and it's just that that hometown country feel. There's yeah. not a lot going on to distract you, so mm -hmm. when you're home, you really just enjoy your space. Yeah, spend time with the fam and just be super present. Yeah. But then the awesome thing is that being in Escondido, you have anything and everything just around the corner. Absolutely, you have the Stone Brewery, which we love going yes. to, all the activities, malls, shopping. It's all right there for about a 10 minute drive yeah. uh, from Hidden Meadows, but you kind of feel like you're escaping the city, escaping you know the busy yeah. life. A little quieter, a little slower over yeah. there. Okay, so let's talk about this, the home specifically. Bedrooms, bathrooms, kind of paint that picture. Sure, so this is a single story on two and a quarter acres. Okay. It has four bedrooms, two and a half baths, the living space is just what what sells the house. Yeah. It's this open space, you have your kitchen, dining, living room, all in one area, and then you have six panel retracting doors that open Ooh. up into your wraparound deck. Love that. So it feels like you're inside, you're outside, you kind of have that combo, the inside-outside mm -hmm. living, mm -hmm. and the views are just spectacular. This time of year, you see the snow-capped mountains. <sighs> and just can see for miles. Yeah, that's so incredible. Yeah. What's, what are we asking? What's the price point for that? $750,000. Wow, what? Yeah, you get a huge house, lots of land, room to add. There's room for your pool, your jacuzzi, your hot tub, yeah. cabana, guest yeah. house. You have room for it all here on their property for $750,000. No HOAs, no Melarus here. You can just own, own your own space and do what you want with it. That is amazing. So we have no HOA, no Melrose. We're a, just down the street from Escondido, which means we have so much going on, but we still get, you know, that privacy and kind of sle sleepy slowness that you may be looking Absolutely. for. Is there anything else we should know? You should come see it at sunset I mean, during the day. Any time of day you have great views, but at sunset yeah. you'll see from some of my pictures. And these were taken from my cell phone. These are not professional view shots. Okay. These are just every day. This is what you get when you live up here shots. Yeah. So, so come check it come out. Come check it out. Come see us I in Hidden Meadows. Love it. It sounds like we're checking all the boxes. Crystal, thanks so much. It was thanks really good so to much. see you. Pleasure. My next guest is Melissa Tucci with Coldwell Banker. Melissa, come on over. Hey, lady. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, nice to see you. Nice to see you too. I know, you oh, gotta like, we need like a there. booster seat yeah. for these, they're higher. <laughs> oh, What's that's up? so funny. Where are we heading with the listing today? So we are headed to downtown in the Marina <laughs> District. Okay. Fabulous two bedroom, two and a half bath unit on the 11th floor, southwest corner. So you have Beautiful. spectacular panoramic views. Let's talk Marina District before we get into the specifics. Uh, what's going on downtown? Because there's a lot. <laughs> there is a ton going on downtown. Yeah. I mean, besides obviously all the new buildings and being so close to Peco, I mean, this is walking distance to Seaport Village and the Barcadero. Mm -hmm. You have the Children's Museum that's just right next door to. Yeah. I mean, there's so much. 
um, the Ralphs, Jimbo's, I mean, you name it. You don't need even a car anymore. You really don't. You really don't. Park your car for the weekend and leave it, yes. right? But there is two parking spots, which are underground, secure parking, yes. 24 hours, concierge. You're lucky to get one sometimes, yes. right? So you have two yes. here. And storage. Okay. So it's just, it's in the Pinnacle building, okay. which is very prestigious, very sought after. Um, so it's absolutely a great opportunity for someone. Let's talk amenities in that building. What comes with it? So you have the 24 hour concierge. Okay. You have a 95 uh, foot lap pool. Ooh. You have a sauna. Okay. You have um, guest suites. There's a theater room. There's a fitness center, uh, the pool and spa. I mean, it's absolute a rec room area. Everything you need. Everything you need is there. Barbecues. I love that. Um, and so many people don't use them. It's yeah, amazing. Right? So when you go in them, it's, it feels like it's your own private. That's awesome. Okay, so let's talk specifics of the home. What should we know? Bedrooms, bathrooms, square footage. So it's two bedroom, two and a half bath, mm -hmm. and it's um, just under 1550 square feet, okay. which is a large size for a two bedroom downtown. It's a great size. And the master is separated from the second bedroom so lots of privacy okay. floor to ceiling windows 10 feet um, the owner put in remote control shade so you nice. walk in all you do press it and it's like boom it goes up and it's just like wow factor. such a great feature I right oh I love that yeah. I just for myself I'm like look at this it's look at amazing. that wow yes um, <laughs> high-end appliances a really open center island mm -hmm. um, great uh, travertine marble floors Beautiful. very light colors um, just absolutely you know spectacular there's nothing you need to do it's really completely move and ready yeah. and two huge balconies so nice. not one okay. but two two balconies mm -hmm. and it's completely move and ready and you've got two parking spaces what's the asking price the asking price is one point five nine million okay. and for this corner for this floor for this view that's an absolute spectacular price yeah keep in mind we're on the 11th floor here so you've got views for days at that perspective views for days I mean you could see when the holidays you know all lights everything water um, even there's the um, at the top of the Hyatt they have outdoor movies oh, that yes. you could I don't know if you've ever done that yeah. but you can even see where that is and they put the big projector down and give oh you headphones gosh. and so it's just it's just a, a great lifestyle yeah. that you know if you don't want to leave you don't have to but if you do there's so much walkability yeah well you are our official Padres realtor who better to talk about downtown than you so thanks so much for sharing this amazing listing yeah, with thanks us for having great me. To see you Melissa you too thanks all right My next guest is Michael Bahima with Home Smart Realty West. Michael, come on over. Hello, hello. Hi there. I like to hug. Welcome. Good morning and afternoon. I know, it's afternoon already. Gosh. Day is flying, We're, our sun is going away a little bit here. What, uh, what community are we talking about today? It's a neighborhood called Emerald Heights in Escondido. I don't know if you've ever heard of it. I actually haven't. So you're about to learn me something. What do right. we need to know? Right. A lot of people in San Diego don't understand Escondido too much. This is really nice because this neighborhood is in the uh, northwest uh, section of Escondido, kind okay. of kind of right by San Marcos, the access mm -hmm. point. You go up Woodland uh, Parkway up to its main gate. The main gate is actually guard gated. Oh, OK. And that's the nice thing about it, because most gates, gated neighborhoods, what do you do? You gotta follow the person in that was in front. Right, right. So this doesn't happen here. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's actually guard gated 24-7. Um, it's up on top of a hill. It's about 1,000 feet elevation. So okay. you actually on a foggy day are above the clouds. Really? It is the coolest thing Ooh, to see. So we're getting really cool views from this they place. They have incredible views all the way out to ocean uh, to the west. Also has other area where you have views to the south. So uh, it's actually a view-oriented neighborhood in most cases. Mm -hmm. There are some homes that aren't view-oriented, but the majority of them are. Yeah. Uh, the neighborhood is built by Shea Homes and Barrett Homes. Okay. Mid-90s, probably around 1994 to 98. Okay. Uh, was a build period, um, 691 homes total. Good amount uh, of homes. Great amount of homes. What would you say ultimately attracts people to this community specifically? Well, I mean, the main thing is, the guard gated access. Mm -hmm. People that want privacy, that's it. Yeah. It's a quiet neighborhood. Uh, beyond that though, there's a 4,000, actually 4,400 square foot clubhouse. Nice. That uh, homeowners can rent out the clubhouse. Uh, along with that, they have a heated junior Olympic sized pool. 
Uh, it is a 75 foot length. It's just about six to eight lanes in, in width. Okay. Uh, also, it has a uh, spa that can hold, gosh, 15, 20 people. Oh wow! Okay. Nice size. Everything's everything's really well done up yeah. there. It has a kiddie pool. It has a weight room that actually kind of the quality is right along with the 24-hour fitness that's amazing so good equipment yeah uh, ditch your gym membership huh yeah you can ditch it um also it has uh three tennis courts it has a basketball court it has a tot lot for kids uh, and also a grass common area that yeah. has the view uh, all of this is privately secured privately in that guard secured. gated community too yeah. so you really don't ever have to leave this community you if you don't want you don't. to and the thing is, the HOA fee for it is only $220 a month. That's great. Yeah, it's not much when you consider you have not a lifeguard. At, at night, they do have security patrol that drives through the neighborhood. They also have, you know, the typical HOA things where they have the, the um, activities committee mm -hmm. that puts together the yard sales, the poker nights, you know, kids Halloween and Christmas time, as yeah. well as the adults. So a lot of activities. Um, which just means to me community, right? Bringing people together. You a get lot, that. A lot of community. Mm -hmm. It is really conveniently located. It is approximately about two miles away from the 15 freeway at El Norte Parkway, or about two miles away from the 78 at uh, Woodland Parkway. Amazing. Park and it's Emerald Isle? It's Emerald Heights. Emerald Heights. Yeah, it is, uh, like Heights. I said, 691 homes. Okay. Um, of that, they that community had uh, the two builders, of those two builders, they put together six neighborhoods. Okay. The smallest house is 1,380 square foot, three bedroom. Uh, the largest is 2,758 square foot, five bedroom. Okay. Um, nice little option there. A lot of different sizes. Okay. So. Yeah. I don't know if you if there's anything more. That, I, uh, I oh, mean. Oh, you know what's also good. Sorry, yeah. I almost forgot. No, Best please. thing about it. Escondido, when you hear Escondido, you think, ah, schools, eh. Yeah. You go to San Marcos School District. Oh! So that's a nice plus because okay. that's right up there with a the higher end school. Yeah, absolutely. That's a great point to make. Thank you yeah. for adding that. Yeah. And I mean, what I was just going to say is that it sounds like you really know Emerald Heights community and you're the guy we need to call I hope to find so. out what's going on there. I hope there. so. Price point in there, uh, lowest price point for that smallest house, roughly around five. 45, 565, depending if it has a view or not. Okay. And the high end of the neighborhood is about 725. So we're starting right at that San Diego medium. Yeah. I yeah. like it. So. Well, Michael, thanks so much for taking the time to share with us about Emerald Heights. I really appreciate Thank it. Thank you. It's good to see you. Great seeing you. My next guest is Jason Newman with Compass, also known as Real Estate J. Come on over. <laughs> boom, boom. You like that? Let's go. <laughs> How are you? Good to see you. Super good to see you too. Thanks for being here. Yeah, thanks for having me. Please Appreciate get it. comfortable. Yeah, get up on this. Uh, I high. know. We need step ladders. It's okay. It's Next. okay. <laughs> <laughs> Jason, where are we heading with your listing today? Yeah, so we're headed straight down in the middle of San Diego and Mission Valley. So I love Mission Valley. It's yeah. where I live. Yep, yep. Close to my heart. Let's talk a little bit Mission Valley first. What draws people to that area? Oh What's gosh. good in the neighborhood? Yeah, I mean, Mission Valley is, like I said, it's the heart of, of San Diego. You have shopping, you have the freeways to get anywhere that you need to go. Yep. Everything is like 10 minutes away from, you know, North County to South County to yeah. the beach. And uh, of course, that back out east. So, um, and I will know. say, I just want to pepper this in because I live in Mission Valley. Mission Valley has been the most central place that I can take back roads to get to so many different places sure. in San Diego without actually having to get on the freeway. So yes, yes. just a little insider tip there. Mission Valley is kind of <laughs> where it's at. Uh, yeah. So as far as the home specifically, bedrooms, yes. bathrooms, square footage, kind of paint that picture for us. Yeah, absolutely. So it's a town home, so it has two stories, um, 922 square feet. It's a two bedroom, one and a half bath. Uh, the downstairs has a half bath, the living room and kitchen, and then upstairs has the two bedrooms okay. and a full bath. So, um, recently upgraded, it has uh, floors, kitchen, granite countertops, uh, really low HOA, it's 305 okay. and it includes water, so it's oh, that's good. really manageable for you know someone trying, trying to get into the market. Mm -hmm. um, and two covered dedicated spots, which is really good for Mission Valley. Yes. Anybody that lives in Mission Valley knows that parking can be horrendous. Absolutely. And so um, that's always a good thing to okay. have. Okay. So. so everybody gets a parking spot. We yes. got not one, but two in this town home. Absolutely. Uh, what else should we know? Um, yeah, I mean, it's really close to everything down there. I mean, like I mentioned before, and uh, so I, you know, great for first time home buyers, mm. great for investors. Um, What's the price point? Price point is going to be 334 dollars 
334 nine. 334? Under 350, what? yes. What? Yes. I'm like, it's he said, steal. what? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Talk about get into the San Diego market. Yes. This is a major opportunity. 100%. Oh my 100%. gosh. I just, that just made me so excited. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Tell so, your friends. Uh, tell your friends. Telling all my friends. We're telling <laughs> all of our friends here at Modern Media Network. Um, yes. Jason, thanks so much for taking the Thank time to so share much. this. Thank you so much. Yes. It was really thanks good to see you. Me. Good to see you. Yeah, likewise. My next guest is Melissa Tucci with Coldwell Banker. Melissa, come on over. Hi. Hey there. Hi, nice to see you. Nice to see you too. Yeah, thanks for having me. My pleasure. So you so, have a coming soon, huh? I do. Where are we going? We are going to Pacific Beach, oh. which is so close to La Jolla, yeah. such a fantastic location off of Soledad Mountain Road. Okay, mm -hmm. so we're in like the best place in North PB that you want to be. Absolutely. Okay. So can't wait to tell you more details. Yeah. Um, this is a four bedroom, two and a half bathroom, and it's on almost a quarter acre with an, an extra room for an office. Oh wow, okay. And a pool. Okay. Um, so Fantastic Street has not been on the market in a long time, mm -hmm. completely remodeled. You walk in and it's a complete open floor plan, the kitchen, the living room, dining room, all open. So you have a really nice wow factor when you walk in. Oh, Just wow. looks absolutely spectacular and the privacy too from the outside. Mm -hmm. Once you're in this property, yeah. you're in your own world. Oh, no one's around you. I love it. And you're just, you have Kate Sessions Park like right down the street. Like that's just such an incredible area right there. It is. Down the hill to PB if you want to get a little wild. You've got all the bars and restaurants and all those things to do there as well. It is. It's absolutely spectacular. And what's great is that you know, this could appeal to so many types of people, whether mm. it's a family, a couple, single, all sure. age groups. Um, it's And it's single story, which is also very nice. That's a great feature. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you have a two car garage and not one, but two Tesla chargers. What? We've got the <laughs> charging stations there too? We do. I am telling you, it's those little details that go such a long way, especially for someone who has an electric vehicle. Absolutely. And what was so nice too is next to the two car garage, they also paved so you could fit another third vehicle. So it's it's spectacular. They but were then, really thinking. That, yeah, for the chargers though, that's just a great feature because yeah. so many more people are environmentally conscious. Mm -hmm. um, and speaking of being environmentally conscious, they also have own solar. So awesome. the fact that you don't have to really pretty much pay any electric bill the whole year, and right. you could be running the, the pool pump, you could be running the air conditioning. Charging your cars. Charging your cars. And oh, by the way, sorry, you don't have an electric bill. So oh my these gosh. are details that, you know, really, it's like not only is the home spectacular, mm -hmm. but this just even increases the desirability that just much more. more value is all I'm yes. hearing. More and value. And almost 2,400 square feet. Okay, so, so really that's a, a large size. Good amount of house mm -hmm. too. Yeah, huge open floor plan, nice and bright, a lot of open windows and mm -hmm. sliders. The mm -hmm. front door is beautiful with glass. You walk in. Um, it's just a really nice an entertainer's paradise. Perfect. So do we have an asking price for this yet? We are gonna be listed at 1.65 million. Okay. So great value for mm -hmm. what it is and yeah. so much energy savings and just you know a real opportunity and it'll be coming soon in a couple of weeks this is really exciting do yourself a favor and take a drive down that road i mean it's absolutely incredible you're going to want to stop in and check out this yes, home for sure definitely thanks for sharing melissa all right thanks you. for having me thank you okay my next guest is philip frederickson with coldwell banker west philip come on over Bella. Hey, I'm so good. How are you? Good. Good this to see so you. This is so exciting. I have to tell you because <laughs> Mary Beth and I, you know, we've got the Ohio connection. I've known I know. her for a few years already, and I always say, "Where's Philip?" Philip's here. Well, here I am. Oh. <laughs> Mary Beth, so excited. <laughs> so, where are we heading today with your listing? We are headed to the award-winning gated community of Santa Luz. Santa Luz is highly sought after. Let's talk about why, though. What draws people to that community? Oh my goodness, it is one of the most amazing communities. You know Mary Beth was the 11th resident in the community. I did not know that. Well, she was. No way. And uh, anyway, she was practically the mayor of Santa Luz. But anyway, <laughs> so we love that community. I mean, it's my favorite gated community in, in all of San Diego. And you know it well. I, we know it well. And uh, I mean, there's so much to offer there. I mean, for kids, it's a, an amazing, fun place for kids and for adults. Mm -hmm. uh, Award-winning golf course, a Reese Jones golf course, can't hardly beat that. Tennis club, pool area, workout areas, mm -hmm. I mean, spa, unbelievable. The epitome of resort style living. Exactly. I mean, truly. Yes. And what about when we get outside of Santa Luz? What's good in the neighborhood? 
Well, you know, one of our favorite little Italian places is right across the street, um, and it's called Rosina's. Okay. And so there's great little restaurants around there. Uh, one of the great little tea places, you know, that has a really formal tea uh, thing is there. That's super cool. But, you know, you're just up the hill, you go down the hill, and you're right there at Fairbanks Ranch and Rancho Santa Fe and Del Mar. It's, there's a lot of fun All stuff All the around. things, right? Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> Awesome. So let's get into the specifics of the home, sort of paint that picture when we walk in. What can people expect? Okay, so we're going to 7871 Quarter de Luz. It's a custom built home. If it were to go on the market today at $2,899,000, it would be the lowest price per square foot custom in all of Santa Luz. Okay. Um, Noted. So at $2,899,000, it was actually appraised four times at 3.2. Get out. So this is going to be a heck of a deal. Okay. Um, it's getting some fresh paint and uh, some staging and stuff right now. So that's where it is. Sellers but sound motivated though. Sellers, sellers uh, are looking to sell. And uh, it's about 6,800 square foot, give or take a little bit. Okay. It's five bedrooms, six and a half bath. Uh, single level custom it's beautiful it's on a private cul-de-sac okay. uh, just a great home and we've got the single level people are looking for that either for the future or right now and they just want to be ready for the future right exactly okay yeah absolutely and uh, anything else that we should know about this incredible home well it doesn't have a pool but it's got plenty of room for okay. really a cool pool okay. so if, if that's what somebody wants it's totally available hey you know me personally I'm like don't do it I'll do it how I want it to be done exactly. So there you go right exactly. yeah <laughs> Uh, well, it was so good to see you, Philip. Thanks so, so much for sharing. So good to see you and to finally meet you. I know. It's about <laughs> time, right? We'll come back soon, and thanks for sharing this we'll listing. We'll do. Thank you we'll so see much. see you soon. All right. Do you have a home that you'd like to feature on the block? Go to modernmedianetwork.com to submit your next listing. Who knows? You might just see us on the block.